really want to give a shout out to everybody who subscribed to my channel. Here I am 100 subscribers later. That was the hardest thing to do was to get to 100 subscribers. I don't know how people have millions of subscribers, but I want to thank every last one of y'all who came onto the page and subscribed and liked. Even if you just came and took some time out to watch the video, I'm grateful for you for that. Now, this video is a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about my hair again and my biggest regret with having dreads. So there's not much that I regret about having locks. Actually, the only major regret that I can say is that I wish I did it sooner. When I was younger, when I got out of high school, I did not care for dreads at all or locks. I didn't care for them. I would not grow them. I would have a big fro and I'd be like, nah, I'm not really feeling it. I don't want to do locks. And as time went on, I finally gave it a chance and I fell in love with it. I had a set of locks and I cut them. There were like 50 of them, but I had a full head. I had 50 locks that were thick. They weren't super thick, but they were like a nice size. I cut them and I always said after I cut them, hey, I'm gonna grow them back. I waited a whole year. I said I was gonna cut them, grow them back. A whole year later, I still didn't do it. So one day I was at a football game. It was the Jaguars versus the Jets. I was watching the game and this guy named Buster Scranton, shout out to Buster Scranton. He took off his helmet and he had blonde locks in a mohawk style. When I saw that shit, I was like, whoa, that's cool. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I didn't see too many people with the dread mohawk at the time. So I was like, all right, that's a bet. I knew I wanted to grow my dreads back out, but I didn't know how I wanted to do it. And I knew I was gonna either have a temp side or I was gonna have no sides at all. I went ahead and started my lock process. I grew my hair out from a high, not a high, I'm sorry, a low fade. Like I had a ball fade, like how Drake used to have with the part. I had the part and all, and I grew my lock from that so the back of my head was bald I had to have my barber cut my hair in a mohawk style from from nothing it didn't start off in a mohawk it was a fade and then it grew into a mohawk looking back on the choice to do the mohawk I would say I did not regret it until the pandemic happened now this is my biggest regret with having a mohawk when the pandemic happened we went through a time that we could have never fathomed like barber shops locticians people where you get your hair done and styled it all closed down so for a few months my hair was a mess and I regretted it. It had me thinking like, I don't really think about cutting my dreads, but during that time period, I was like, I'm gonna cut my locks and just restart with a full head. But looking at how much length I've gotten, and these are two strands, so my hair is a lot longer than this, but thinking about how long my hair gotten, I just could not bring myself to cut it. If I ever do cut it, it will just be to grow another set. I may freeform, but freeform in a more neat style. I don't wanna just have like, you know, Congos or fingers, you know, I want it to be a little bit more kept. I thought about cutting it, but I was like, no. My loctician was like, you better not cut them. Those are my babies just as much as they your babies. So I didn't cut them, but it had me thinking like, why did I not just let my hair grow out fully? By all means, I do not regret having a mohawk. I think I look cool. I'm gonna keep them as long as my hair or God or whoever the hair gods allow it. I'm gonna keep them. Just going into like how my hair is like, you see, it's cut on the sides. When the pandemic happened, all this was like a small fro. So I could never really pin my hair up. I could never pin my hair up. If I did, you would see that I had a small fro on both sides of my head. So I couldn't wear my hair in a bun or anything like that because I would look a fool. So I started wearing scarves. The scarves would cover up my sides and all you just see is my hair whenever I decided to put it up in a bun. Boy, when I tell you I regretted that, I even thought about locking the sides up because it was that much hair on the side of my head. I thought about locking my sides up from the small bit of hair that I had left over but i decided not to do that because i knew i looked crazy i even went to my log tissue and i was like hey i might even do extensions but i didn't want to fake the funk like i did not want to fake the funk if i have long locks and i wanted to be because i put that work in like this is four years worth of locks like i put that work in for these so that's why it was so hard for me to say i'm gonna go ahead and just cut them and restart i talked to my loctician about that she was like i don't think you really want to do that like i mean you can but i don't think you really want to do it which is true i did not want to go that route and she was like i had a another client that did the same thing and now his hair is a little bit longer and it don't look nearly as bad from where I'm at with my length. I'm gonna do another video when I, when I take these down. Where I'm at with my length, for me to try to start over or take the little fro that I had and try to lock it up, she said, you will look foolish. I just thugged it. I'm gonna continue to thug it. I say that to say this. I don't have much regrets with having dreads. I love having locks. Locks are 
amazing. As you can see, this painting in the background is supposed to be an unfinished painting of myself, and it has locks. Like, it's been a part of my identity. My dread locks are my persona. You know, they call me Art Poppy. I believe the Art Poppy persona is because of the locks and just swagger. I really don't have too many regrets, if none. You know, if the barbershop's closed now, then I gotta figure out how I'm gonna <laughs> cut my own hair because I don't wanna look crazy. Overall, I love having locks. It's, it's been a great thing, a great journey. The only thing that I regret is just not being able to have a full head of hair because of, again, pandemic stuff. I know some of y'all are still on lockdown and the rest of the world is starting to open back up. Florida has not closed down. We are open. I don't think we will ever close down again. I think that's a wrap for us. I think the rest of the United States is kind of like, eh, nickel and dime. I know Georgia is still open, but Florida is wide open. If you live in another state and you're on quarantine and you're thinking about growing locks out, take into consideration that if you do grow like a high top or if you grow a mohawk, you got to think about getting your hair cut. You got to worry about this potentially being kind of rugged. I mean, you also should worry about this too. This is also a key point. When you do grow your locks out, understand that if you have to get your hair cut on the side or faded, your barber can nick into your locks. It happens where they're trying to make it as crispy as possible along this line. This is my line where my hair meets my locks. They may try to get as close as possible to make sure you got that fresh, that freshy, fresh lineup. They might nick your dreads and that'll Thin your hair up. So it's always good to give your hair some time to reset. Like me, like I said in my last video about my four year lock update, give yourself at least a month's time for your hair to reset. Give yourself some time for your hair to grow back out. You know, if you give yourself two months in between every lock or every retwist, you'll be good. Um, okay. Cool. But yeah, give yourself a two month time period between every retwist. Wear your hair in the style for a month, wear your hair out for a month. It'll give you your scalp, give your hair enough time to grow. Just saying, cause you know, some people will just retwist, 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 and the next thing you know, you're thinning out. Yeah, I just wanted to give y'all my one regret, even if that is a regret on me having locks. Other than that, I don't really have too many other regrets at all. Grow your hair out. If it's my advice to you, you watching this, you thinking about getting dreads, grow your hair out, grow it out. Let me look at this and look at this, grow it out, all right? Please like and subscribe. I'm over 100. I said in my videos previous, if I uh, got to 100, I was gonna do a canvas. I'm gonna still do the canvas. You guys can see me paint. Thank y'all for 100 subscribers. I know it's not a lot, but it's a lot to me. I hope y'all enjoy y'all holidays because it's almost time for Christmas. I'm broke. Uh, Yeah, peace out.